I sit at this dais in my role as chairman of the Appropriations Committee, but my voice echoes with those at the table before us. As a proud member of the Chickasaw Nation of Oklahoma, I'm resolute in my commitment to ensuring tribes across the nation are heard, and we are here today making certain that happens. The USDA is charged with providing critical food assistance for tribal members and vulnerable senior citizens, and it's failed in that duty. For months, people have been left without food and resources they rely on. Missed and delayed deliveries, empty shelves, and bare warehouses have become commonplace. These are all dire consequences as a result of decisions made by the USDA, which have left communities hungry. Further, the department has neglected to implement a permanent fix or establish a timeline for effective operations to resume. These short-term solutions proposed, uh, the short-term solutions proposed by the USDA are not sufficient and put additional burdens on tribes. I'm extremely disturbed by these failures, which as we have learned, were clearly preventable. The USDA knew there were concerns and opposition when they announced their decision to utilize a single contractor. Nevertheless, they did it anyway, causing the situation at hand. It's more than a mistake, it's gross negligence. Tribal consultation is not only a requirement, but a duty uh, of the agency and should be taken seriously. It's critical that this uh, uh, contracting or this crisis is resolved quickly and the changes are made in the contracting process to ensure nothing like this ever happens again. I have no doubt today's testimony will emphasize needed action to rectify food shortages and the importance of upholding our nation's trust and treaty responsibilities. I think we'll also hear that in the wake of this crisis, tribal leaders and community members have stepped in to help and to try and fill gaps where possible. That sense of unity and care is to be commended during this incredibly difficult time. And I'm pleased that there's bipartisan and bicameral concern to address the situation. Uh, to our tribes and seniors, Congress hears you, sees you, and is acting on both sides of the aisle in both chambers to ensure accountability. To the USDA, there's no acceptable excuse, and these disruptions need to be fixed immediately. Uh, I'm grateful to our witnesses for their time today, and especially welcome our tribal leaders and representatives, including my fellow Oklahoman, Ms. Marty Wofford. Uh, your assessments and testimony will be critical as we work to resolve this crisis and ensure nutrition is reaching those in need. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you very much. Ranking member of the House Appropriations